Matrix and Roadshow fans, we are back with another video and we're going to be talking about the New York Times and Taylor Swift. Now, when it comes to your mainstream media, man, over the years, there's definitely seems to be a push out there to make a whole bunch of people identify with the alphabet community. And that's essentially what the uh, New York Times has done to Taylor Swift. Now, Taylor Swift is definitely a left winger. OK, she endorsed on uh, Beijing Biden. But just because she does that, does that necessarily mean that she is a part of the uh, alphabet mafia? I don't think so. And I'm, I'm not even a Taylor Swift fan. Now, we've actually been covering uh, Taylor Swift over on uh, Black and White Sports because uh, she's she's actually dating uh, Travis Kelsey of the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. And the NFL had a huge obsession with Taylor Swift because the Swifties were actually going over and watching NFL games. There was a ratings boost. And actually, she's actually going to be um, at the uh, Chiefs um, playoff game, but it's only on Peacock. So got a video coming on that. So make sure you guys go and uh, check out uh, Black and White Sports. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this because the New York Times is catching some heat. Before we get into it, though, guys, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. We have our member live stream every single Friday, only starts at five dollars per month. We appreciate all of the support. So right here on the post millennial Taylor Swift fans boycott New York Times for suggesting she could be queer. And it's serious, too, man. It seems like uh, this post on Etz, you guys give me a follow on Etz at Real John Matrix. It's getting ratioed um, 181 likes to 203 comments. So that is definitely a slight ratio right there. I don't know how they actually come up with this stuff, man. Like I said, left wing media, mainstream media, they want to put everybody into this bag of identifying as like LGBT, even though the true numbers are like the total LGBT population, probably something like two or three percent. OK, so I don't know where they get this idea, but uh, Taylor Swift fans are not happy about it. It says here the New York Times is bearing the wrath of Swifties after the paper published an op ed that questioned World famous singer Taylor Swift's sexuality. As a result, Swift's fans and friends have launched a boycott campaign against the New York Times and are calling on individuals to cancel their subscriptions. They allege that the article suggesting that Swift might be queer is both sexist and grossly inappropriate, claiming that male singers would never receive the same treatment. Swift is uh, currently dating uh, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey and has been a longtime outspoken supporter of the LGBT community, often uh, writing subtle references in support of it in her songs. But just because she actually does that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that um, she's a lesbian, queer, whatever. You know, they got all new terms and stuff like that. You guys know that. um. LGBT now is like has like this long acronym now, like 2S Pi. I mean, I don't know who actually comes up with this stuff. I'm just throwing it out there. But anyway, it goes on. It says in the New York Times op ed titled Look What You Made Me Do, written by Anna Martz, the author argues that the award winning Grammy artist has an affinity for queer identity. And could be hiding her true sexuality from the world. Uh, quote, whether she is conscious of it or not, Miss Swift signals to queer people in the language uh, we use to communicate with one another that she has some affinity uh, for queer identity, wrote Marts. Well, OK, I remember back in the day, man, uh, Britney Spears. Pretty popular, you know, back in um. The uh, 90s, 2000s, uh, gay people liked her, lesbians liked her. 
But Britney Spears, as far as we know, not a part of the LGBT community. Now, when it comes to, I believe, uh, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga definitely has a whole bunch of um, uh, fans that are a part of the alphabet community. When it comes to Lady Gaga, all we've ever seen her do is date men, even though I believe she supposedly is like in the women. But I believe, you know, some people in Hollywood, they do that just for cool points, you know. I believe that really does happen. But as far as I know, I really haven't seen any indication that um, that Taylor Swift is queer. But anyway, it goes on. It says immediate backlash backlash in ensued shortly after the article was published with Taylor Swift's fans who are known as Swifties voicing their distaste and questioning the paper's uh, moral ethics. Swift 34 is known to have one of the most dedicated fan bases in the world. Yeah, they are very, very dedicated. Uh, quote, just cancel my subscription. This article is sexist and grossly inappropriate. One user wrote on X. Uh, what the hell did I just read? Is severely disturbing that the New York Times would participate in the ultimately phobic um, attempt outing of Taylor Swift, hell of a way to treat an ally, Anna Martz, uh, said another X user. Uh, there is something deeply wrong with the New York Times publishing this article speculating that Taylor Swift may be secretly queer based on absolutely nothing. <laughs> another user wrote, this is kind of uh, garbage that belongs in a supermarket checkout next to the National Enquirer. Now, to me, guys, when it comes to um, the mainstream media now, it definitely does seem like uh, the National Enquirer is more reputable than the mainstream media. The, the mainstream media is essentially the National Enquirer now. I mean, this is what they do. This is what they do. I'm not even a huge Taylor Swift fan. Actually, you know what? I'm not a fan at all. OK, I don't listen to her music. Maybe I've actually heard some of her music, you know. But um, Taylor Swift fans, you probably don't want to go after them. OK, you probably don't. Those, those Swifties, man, are crazy. They are really, really crazy. I'm learning that, you know, from the uh, sports angle. Those people are nuts. They just love them some Taylor Swift. And if you actually go after them, boy, this is something else, man. This is really, really something else, man. The woke media getting attacked. And I'm pretty sure a lot of Taylor Swift fans are probably woke themselves. Boy, this is something right here. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Matrix and Roadshow fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you.